welcome back. Here we are. Greens, Malton and Parvo. What we've got today here, it's not a barn find, this is a shed find. So, come a little closer. I'm going to get my camera lady to come and have a look at this. So, what we've got here, this is, as I said, it's a greens, tea greens and sons. They are not the oldest, uh, but they've been around an awful long time. This particular one, um, this is a 10 inch cut, so it's not the smallest, but it's still quite a nice little mower. They offered this um, in some fairly unusual sizes. Most machines um, tend to be even numbers, but they did these in a six inch cut, seven inch, which is a little unusual, eight, uh, a 10 and a 12. This is a 10 inch, as I say. So it's, it's a nice, sweet little thing. Um, as you can see, it's in a little bit of a mess, but we have got the grass box and the original one too. So let's just take it off, look at that. Wooden sided box, little bit rotten in there. So what we'll do, we'll just turn it around you can have a look. So here we go. So this is a gear driven model. The early ones didn't have any gear covers, but if we look at this one, I think this one did have gear covers because we've got the little bolt holes and there's one the other side. So I think this one did have gear covers. They've obviously been lost at, at some point. So it might be something we've got to do, but, um, yeah, we've got the bones of it anyway. So what we'll do, we'll just have a look at the handlebar here. So what we can see here is Moulton in Parvo, number 19921. I'm not sure, but I think this one's probably about 1900. So it's, it's, it's a proper antique, proper antique. And um, I don't know, uh, my, my Latin is terrible, but uh, Molten in Parvo translates to something like much from little. They were quite a popular mower. Very light, very easy to use. So there was quite a lot of them sold and there's still quite a few of them around. Um, they did, there seems to be more six inch ones around than anything. Um, don't seem to see so, see so many 10 inch cut ones. So it's a little bit unusual. But this is this is the camera ladies mower. So we're gonna get started hopefully. As you can see, it's very, very rusty. We've gotta be very careful because it's going to break very easily. It won't take much. So we've just gotta soak it. And patience is the name of the game with this. Um, it's, it's actually at the state where it does need completely restoring as you as you can see so it is going to be a complete strip down job and paint up there's 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 nothing really of the original paint so i don't think we're going to spoil this it's all seized up at the moment so it needs doing properly so what we'll do we'll take the glass box off come and have a look at this so if we look at the cylinder on that it's quite unusual well it's not unusual for one of these um, you can tell it's old because the blades are not welded in. They've got these little pins there that hold the blades in. So there were sort of wedges, if you want to call them that. And it seems to be quite effective because I haven't seen one come loose yet. And then what we've got, um, I'll tip it on the side, we can have a look. We don't have bearings. We've got these nice little bronze blocks. So they'll look rather nice when they're cleaned up. The roller in it, a bit like the Shanks mower, it's got a free wheel, so you turn it, when you pull backwards it free wheels, push it forwards and it engages. Obviously it won't, it's completely seized up. So there we go, so we'll pop the box back on, new rollers needed as well. Obviously handle grips as well, usual thing. 
they've obviously got damp and then obviously the metal swells and splits the handle grips but I suppose when you think they're probably the originals it's obviously done all right so there you have it I think that's really um, at the moment I think that's really all we can tell you on that one so we're going to strip it down it's going to be a long process and when we've got something that's worth showing you we'll do a little bit more filming you can see the progress any thoughts please let us know and uh, wish us all the best because we're going to need patience and we're going to need lots of it so i think probably next week we've got, i've got, got an idea for something else i think next week we're probably going to do a video on one of ransom's most popular domestic lawnmowers i'm not going to say what it is hopefully i can get my hands on one and we'll talk about that anyway thank you for watching and Hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next one.